everybody today I want to show you how to use the target pod weapon navigation and Tekken the easy way so I will break it down in a few easy steps without all unnecessary information and uh, yeah first we have to select the proper aircraft to do that uh, no this one uh, as you can see, uh, there are a few rockets, two external tanks underneath the aircraft, but we have to place a um, targeting pod. So, let me show you how to do that. First, you go to this uh, menu F11 parent menu, ground crew. Rearm and refuel. And we can select empty. And yeah, let's put some missiles underneath and number one, underneath the wing, wing tip. Also a missile underneath number nine. And most important thing for this uh, video pots and you can see uh, the lightning pot they call it let's select that one uh, yeah underneath number five so uh, yeah underneath the belly of the aircraft Request refueling. right also Request also refuel Copy. Okay, and there it is. Two rockets and one targeting pod. And that is what we need today. So, let me show you how to uh, turn on the, the cameras. We have to select the forward uh, looking infrared button we we'll have to uh, yes yeah, put it in, a, in the on position on and, and then you can see in the menu uh, yeah, flare lighting up so press it and then uh, we have to wait a few minutes in order to uh, to see uh, yeah, to see the, the, the camera footage from the flare I need to heat up and uh, yeah in a few uh, minutes uh, we are ready to go okay now let me show you how to uh, move the camera if you want to move the camera we'll have to uh, activate this screen and then you see a diamond box over here and that's an indicator for the camera and then you can move it around um, yeah so I'll show you I have to go to adjust controls and search for sensor and there it is sensor control switch right not left that is this screen we want this screen and that is uh, it's a slash. So just press slash on your keyboard. And you can see this diamond box. And then well, well, then then you can see we are in the PTRK point track. Do it again, and yeah. Now we can move the camera, and also with your slash on your keyboard. It cycle through the different options. Uh, yeah, like uh, area track, point track, just your free cam. Oh. Now we can move.
Well, let me show you an easy tool to slew the seeker. That is, uh, if you go to the option uh, menu. Well, then special check FA team. And you can see this box is checked. Realistic TDC slew. And all you have to do is uncheck it, I guess, and then uh, confirm it. And um, yeah, then you can um, uh, yeah slew your seeker uh, with with the arrow buttons on your uh, keyboard, and um, without uh, pressing enter in this case. Uh, so you don't have to hold the the TDC switch um, if you don't have to press it. So anymore so you can use just use your arrows so uh, and this way you make your life a little bit uh, easier in the cockpit now let me show you an easy way to use the flare and normal daylight cam I have to select this button so this this is checked all right now we can move our camera towards this helicopter with the arrow keys And first we have to press uh, once to the right uh, our sensor control switch. As you can see, so now the TDC um, yeah, is uh, on, on our right uh, MDI. Then we can... Yeah, now we can move. Move the camera towards the helicopter and we have to be fast because the helicopter is taken off. So. I hope we get it, uh, a nice uh, takeoff uh, shot. Go 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 go! Ah, it's gone. It's gone. Too bad. But yeah, you, you can see. Uh, yeah, we can move the camera around. Hey, there's a new target. Let's zoom in, get this arrow up, press, press again, yeah, it looks like a B-52. If you want to uh, auto-follow this uh, B-52 with your camera, you have to press the sensor control switch to the right again. Oh. Yeah. You have to you have to press it uh, until you see this a uh, letter P T R K that means a point track yeah and then uh, your camera is following this uh, yeah, moving airplane or uh, yeah a jeep or a tank a boat yeah or flying airplane and let's see yeah you can see yeah this camera. Yeah, it's following the plane. You can also, because this is a daylight cam, a CCD, you can also change to forward looking infrared. That comes in handy in, uh, at the night time. And you can change also the color. This is white, this is black. So you can play with it all day long. following yeah, this is better yeah that's how it uh, how it is uh, done also you can see over here this uh, box this uh, this represents uh, where the camera is at your plane as you can see uh, it's moving um, yeah to the back of the plane and if it is at 12 o'clock, then it's over here. Yeah, so that's also uh, could be uh, useful. Yeah. It's also a different target over there. Let's see if we can track that target. Ah, first. Oh, there he is. Let's uh, check out the takeoff, the B-52. 
no, not following anymore, so press the right sensor control switch again, and then we're gonna move to the moving target over here, oh, over a Four, one, passing waypoint three at 18,000. Yeah, it's driving Four, one, on station behind us, so one, that's, two, that's one, difficult. Four, one, Let's see how we can manage manage this. Well. But yeah, this is uh, in general how to use the camera on, a, on an easy way. It's uh, so much information and other thing, but. The more you do this, uh, the better you uh, get at it, and uh, yeah, I have to practice also a lot. Okay. You can also reset your camera. Like this, so now it's looking uh, a little bit down forward. You can see also the landing gear. On the screen. And you do that with the uh, same key you use for a nose wheel, wheel steering. So I'll use the, the letter S on my keyboard. Then yeah, you reset your camera. So I can point to the right all the way. And I press S. And reset. Okay, now let's take off and uh, I'll show you how to uh, navigate with waypoints. Okay, now we are in the mission editor and then I can show you our waypoints. This uh, yellow uh, marker, yeah, that is uh, our aircraft. And our waypoints are right over here. First waypoint, and we fly to waypoint 2 and to 3. To the coast. These are custom made waypoints in the mission editor and if we are uh, near the coast then we're gonna <coughs> tune in uh, for the tech cam to find our aircraft carrier. But first uh, let's fly to our beautiful coast. Alright we are ready on the runway ready to go but first let me show you how to uh, bring up uh, waypoint one oh, to the cockpit. Uh, let's go to this menu and a tactical display HSI. And here you can see a waypoint and arrow up, arrow down. Now, first waypoint. Also, let's uh, select waypoint mode. And here you can see our first waypoint is heading 039 at 9.7 nautical miles. So let's use this button to uh, bring up the arrow to the waypoint marker. That is this marker, and we have to place this marker right here. Then we are on our correct heading. So, yeah, let's uh, let's try. Let's take off. Now, as you can see, we have to turn to the right. 
funktioniert. Let's place the arrow at heading 039. I mean 048. where uh, our first waypoint is. We're almost there. 2.5, 2.4. So let's uh, select waypoint number 2. Uh, that should be a heading of 143. Let's select it. Right, well let's turn to that heading. Also climb a little bit, because there are a few mountains. See a heading marker. Yeah, like this. And the pick. I like this. Okay. Let's level off. That's 10,000 feet. Right. We can also turn on our autopilot and just say uh, altitude hold. And also, uh, what is also possible is to uh, select our heading, heading selector. But first, we have to set our heading, waypoint 3, and that's uh, heading 157. And we can do that with this button and here you can see the, the heading selector degree degrees one five eight one five eight and then just select heading all right well, we're almost there six miles then we can fly to waypoint three we can play with our Camera, if you want. Looks alright. Alright. Well, select waypoint 3, heading 061.
Yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah. Zero five seven. All right. We also uh, set our heading to zero five five. I guess zero zero five three zero five two so zero five two and he, over here you can see the distance uh, forty seven point five nautical miles way point three. Should take about five minutes. All right, so we're almost at waypoint three. Now it's time to set up a Tekken, and uh, yeah, we can find our aircraft carrier somewhere in this uh, deep blue sea. Right, so we have to select Tekken TCN. Our Tekken code is seventy one X seventy one. X so X is already selected, you can select Y or X. Then just select 71 enter on right. So the tech and symbol is an upside down. No, oh, it's a T. Yeah, it's not upside down, it's a T. Um yeah. So uh, let's put this marker right here. Should be 82. So let's select heading 82. Oh, 82. You can see it's uh, 98 nautical miles, and should take 13 minutes. So I'll deselect waypoint. And check tech and Two, eighty-two. Having selected eighty-two, yeah. And you can see uh, our range nineteen nautical miles. So almost there. Maybe we can pick them up with our camera. I see something. There he is. Sends it. Sends the switch to the right. So a beautiful aircraft carrier. We found them. Yeah, this is great. So yeah, that's how to navigate with the tech cam. And uh, you should be uh, able to find your aircraft carrier everywhere.
Alright, so now let's head to waypoint 4 and uh, land this thing. No, deselect that can, select waypoint, waypoint 4, heading 2, 8, or 1. So let's select that. Alright, now let's try to land. I have to maintain a uh, heading of uh, 290. And I'm gonna fly this, uh, this circuit uh, around uh, 1000 feet because of the mountains surrounding the airfield. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut throttle. Make a left turn to heading of 290. I mean, uh, 110. Also, if the airspeed is below 250 knots, uh, lower our flaps and gear. Alright, now we've got to uh, get to our Airborne. angle of attack right. We we'll have to place this marker in the middle of this marker and then you'll see an orange ball. Um, yeah, so let's try that. So I have to trim the, air the nose of the aircraft up and control our altitude with a throttle. So, the only move you stick left or right, not up or down. Otherwise, uh, the angle of attack is not correct anymore. That's uh, yeah, something different than um, the airplanes I used to fly. Uh, not Navy uh, planes, so. This marker should be yeah, on the horizon, but yeah, I'm not very good at this. So. Right, let's turn in. A little bit low, so have to turn in a little bit earlier. Um, heading two nine zero. play with the throttle in order to keep the right altitude. Right, let's steer to the left, 290.
Oh, that's it. Well, I hope this was uh, useful and uh, hope to see you later. Bye-bye.